Hey guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. This should be fun, right? So today we're gonna to do a question and answering, a Q&A, sort of sorts. A little general information about myself. My name is Miles Hampton, I'm from West Bloomfield, Michigan. I go by Hampton. Why did I just snap my fingers? So the first question I got, what inspired me to make vines? The thing that inspired me to make vines was one, I just like making people laugh. The next thing that inspired me was I just wanted a platform where I could challenge my creativity really and just see what I can do with it. Question number two, what do I always get at McDonald's? I get a McGriddle because it is the most mouth-watering, mouth-watering, mouth-watering substance that's ever existed. I swear this video isn't sponsored. Question number three, has a family member ever seen any of my vines? Yes, all of them. All of my family members have seen my vines and it is the most awkward thing possible. So at first, when I first told my mom and dad I was a viner, I was scared that they were gonna be like, oh, why are you online cussing? And they were surprisingly kind of okay with it. And then once I started growing, they started showing their friends. And then when they have me show my cousins or like distant family relatives, they're like, oh, mom, show them. Wow, show them your uh your vine. Um, here you go. And they're just like. Meanwhile, on the phone, I'm screaming "fuck shit ass." This is you, and it's really awkward. And it's really awkward. Oh, my mom's home. What are my favorite TV shows? My three favorite. My three favorite shows are Stranger Things, Rick and Morty, and Game of Thrones. Question number four. If I could only listen to one musical album for the rest of my life, which one would it be? Demon Days by the Gorillas. It has like a little bit of everything in it. Has a little bit of rock, has a little bit of rap, has a little bit of alternative. It, it's like ooh, everything just inside of one album. And it is the most amazing album ever. It's my favorite album ever. Five. Would I rather fuck a goat and no one knows I fucked that goat? Or not fuck a goat and everyone thinks I did. I will answer this question as honestly as I can. I'm fucking that goat. I mean, look, could you imagine being the guy that fucked the goat? That's the worst thing possibly ever. And that's just not the life I live. And if I have to lay my penis down on the line and fuck a goat, I'm fucking that goat. <laughs> Full disclosure, I'm sorry if that sounds weird. What are my opinions on Harambe? Harambe was an ape who lived in the Cincinnati Zoo. He was an ape of peace, an ape of hostility, until he was slain in front of millions, living his whole life in captivity. We must work together to make sure that this never happens to another ape. Dick for Harambe. And thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Hampton248. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Look at that ocean. <laughs>